Hi everybody, I'm Toby Tungle with AV Nation Media coming to you live from Orlando, Florida, Infocom 2023. Continue to be in the very, very busy Crestron booth. There are so many people standing around us trying to block everybody coming in. I'm here with Ara. How are you today, sir? I am great. How is day two going so far for you? Oh, it's been amazing. Yeah? Really amazing. It's been uh, a few years since we've had this type of crowd in uh, in Infocom and it's been it's been quite <laughs> it's been quite amazing for us here at the booth. I, I, I love seeing all these people around here. I love seeing a, a busy booth. I mean this is what we do as an industry, right? So I understand that we've got a couple things to talk about. The first one is construct. Yes. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah so uh, Crestron Construct is a new UI editing tool that we have. Um, we've been working on it for about two years. So we've been working on it for quite a long time. We have an editor today uh, that our dealers use to create user interfaces, and we call it VT Pro, so a lot of our dealers that are watching this will be familiar with that application. So that application actually builds a Flash-based project. So this new editor is using HTML5. So the entire architecture and the technology has changed. Um, we've moved away from Flash, and we've moved into the modern technology of HTML5, so it's extremely exciting for us. And um, it's, it's a great time for Crestron because we actually haven't released a new piece of software like this in, in about 25 years. Really? Yes. Wow. That, that is really nice to hear that you guys continue to push that innovation of it because really what the integrator is looking for and the end users is that ease of use, how to deploy massively, how to, how to make it really consistent across their entire organization, right? Yeah, and that's great. I'm assuming that helps them greatly from that perspective. Yeah, that's great. And, and, and one of the benefits of Construct is that while it leverages HTML5, you don't have to be a web developer, right? So, so one I can of the do it? challenges, yes, exactly. <laughs> so one of the challenges that you have when you're building a web-based project is you need to know a lot of different technologies. So you need to know HTML5 and JavaScript and CSS and all of these things that the average person, like even like you and me, right? We, we don't know. <laughs> right. So Crestron Construct abstracts that away so that you don't have to concentrate on that technology and you can concentrate on just building the user interface. It's a WYSIWYG editor, right? What you see is what you get drag and drop, I can drop buttons onto my page, I can style them in any way I want to style them, and you get you hit the ground, you're off and running in no time. It, it's amazing too, because if you think about even five years ago, how complex it was to build those interfaces, right? And, and, and understanding that user experience and the flow of it, because an engineer would say one way, a programmer would say another way, and the client would look at it and go, I don't understand how to use it, right? right. Being able to change things to understand what their workflow is, I think is really a big big favor for that. Right, exactly. Um, so the other thing that we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna grab it right here, is this fantastically sexy new looking wireless touch panel. Very excited about So this about is this something product. that you guys just released. Yes. I just saw this. It has got a good weight to it. It's not heavy. It's not weird lopsided or whatever. Yes. So, oh, and it actually goes portrait to landscape. I just did that. Too, yes, so. yes. It, uh, you know, imagine that. So one of the, the other benefits and in, in what we're showcasing, what we are showcasing at the booth is obviously the fact that this panel rotates, right? So it's a modern tablet. It needs to rotate. And Crestron Construct, one of the things that we brought into the application is the ability to create that landscape and that portrait project. Not only can you create that landscape and portrait, right? So that long and the rotate, you can actually- I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it because panel. I feel yeah, like sure. it's cool. So not only can you do the landscape and portrait project, but Construct also adds the benefit of allowing a single project to target multiple different types of hardware. That's something new for Crestron. So our dealers were probably familiar with VT Pro understand that when you created a project, it had to be targeted for a specific piece of hardware. Construct breaks that barrier. So we can actually create a single project and target multiple pieces of hardware and orientations. So we're showcasing that in the booth. We have this custom project that I spent some time building, <laughs> which was, yeah, which I spent a lot of time working on. And, um, and we're showcasing this new hardware and we're, we're really excited about this panel. You know, it has great battery life. It's running the latest Android operating system. And it, and it showcases, really showcases the power of HTML5. That's fan. When is that going to be available? This will be available in July. Oh, wow. Nice. So it's very close. You can actually put your orders in now. We're taking orders. Of course, orders, yeah, get them in now, right? Get, yeah. in the, get in the queue. And uh, it's wonderful. It, it really is. We're very excited. Awesome. Well, thank you very much today for your time. I hope you have a fantastic day, too. It continues to be really, really busy. Um, and, you know, congratulations on all this stuff. This is really fantastic. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I continue to have a fantastic time in the restaurant booth this morning with Sam. Sam, we're over here checking out the classroom solution you got behind yeah, us, right? Yeah. I understand that we, we've got a presenter, or not a presenter, an instructor over here that's going to showcase some of this stuff. But 
This solution is based around the one beyond acquisition, right? The Automate VX solution. Right. So walk me through what they're doing behind us here. So Crestron is really strong in education. It's one of our, our big markets, though we're strong in, in, in many different verticals. Um, but in, in this, what we're, we're demonstrating here is a classroom setting and where the teacher is at the front of the room as Renee is walking around. Again, this could be a boardroom as well, wa wa watching the presenter at a podium. But Renee's uh, leveraging one of the auto tracker cameras. So as Renee walks around, it's leveraging artificial intelligence to see where Renee is walking and, oh, and showing her on the screen to the far end. But then as one of the other students asks the question, what you'll see on the screen and what we'll be sending to the far end is multiple participants. We'll see the teacher, uh, we'll see the teacher uh, uh, in the one of the boxes, but we'll also see the student next to her. So the far end would, would continue to get the context of the teacher but also see what the students, uh, well, how the students talking as it's, well. That's so far from where it was before yeah, COVID, and everything or, for distant learning, where it was just the wide shot of the room, right? Yeah. And everybody remembers the lanyards that were sort of kind of work, and yeah. it depends on what was in the environment. For for folks that are on the remote side to have that experience to know both the instructors there and present, who in the audience or, or classroom is asking the question and be able to feel like they're there, right? Yep. That's a big part of, I think, where you guys are really leading that charge for that solution and that, that consistent experience. Absolutely. You know, one of the terms I think we continue to hear around uh, Infocom and even outside is equity of experience. And what we're demonstrating is that Crestron can deliver an equitable experience for the students and the teachers. But again, think of this outside of just a classroom setting. Think of boardroom. Uh, just a high value space. So having multiple cameras around the room, leveraging artificial intelligence really drives that equitable experience for ever, all the participants. Yeah, and you know, if you think about really where they want to have this experience, sitting, equitable is a great word for yeah. that, by the way. But if they're in the classroom one day, they have to be at home for another day, family obligations, they yeah. just don't want to come in for, for Taco Tuesday, as Nick yeah. said earlier. You know, that really drives that collaboration piece that we can continue to grow. We can add more Absolutely. experiences where, you know, it's not just maybe in the same town. It could be across the world that you get to experience this, Absolutely. right? And I think as we grow as a global economy, we need to do more of that. Yes. And the fact that you guys are able to do this so seamlessly Absolutely. and actually have a really a complete solution with the video switch and everything else, just phenomenal. So thank you very much for this. This demo is fantastic. Thank you. Um, I love the Automate VX system personally. So, so um, if I had a reason to put it in my house, I would do that, but I don't. Uh, here with Sam the Crestron booth. It continues to be crazy and we have lots of people keeping everyone out of our camera shot. We're here today to talk about the new Air Media. One thing that I want to talk about with this particular box is it's kind of an all-in-one solution. Well, it's not really kind of, it is an all-in-one solution. Absolutely is. So it can run a touch panel. It's got a built-in control system. It's got wireless display. It's got inputs and outputs for video. It's got all kinds of fun stuff here. But this is the kind of thing that you can think about for your huddle space, your executive office, yep. and ease of deployment, right? Yeah. So in a big part of that, something you guys just released is the new Puck system. Yep. Right? Walk me through the demo of this piece. Yeah, here, absolutely. Right? So what we have is the new Air Media Connect adapter, yep. and this makes it easy to share content. Traditionally, we would have shared content with an app like AirPlay, Miracast, the Crestron app, even a wired HDMI connection. But with the uh, Crestron Air Media Connect adapter, I just plug it into my USB-C device, and you're going to see my screen be duplicated uh, on the monitor, leveraging the Air Media. Now, another feature that we uh, announced and uh, will be shipping in about a month's time is the ability to do wireless conferencing. So we have an Air Media behind the screen here connected to this Jobber Panicast 50. Now that I plug the Air Media Connect adapter in, the Jobber Panicast 50 would wirelessly now configure my laptop to use that Jobber Panicast 50. So for, as you said, as a full collaboration device around BYOD, that's what the Air Media is now. And, and that is amazing, right? It's if amazing. you think about plugging in one cable that's wirelessly, it. you're not digging underneath the table, you're not, oh, I don't have the right adapter, and it gets audio and video right off your laptop to the room. It can be any of the platforms. As long as it's on your laptop, you can it's just press really it. that You don't simple. even have to press a button. You don't even have to press a button. We it's just saw that, it. It's just that, it really is that simple. I love that, awesome. Well, thank you, sir, very much for this. Um, and you said this is shipping in about a month? The, the hardware is all shipping. The software to enable wireless conferencing. Oh, okay, great. That's in about a month, but the ability to share content. The Teams UI didn't show that. Uh, I'll just unplug it really yeah. quick. So Microsoft has also adopted uh, bring your own device as a workflow. And so what you'll see behind me in a second, this is the UI built by Microsoft. So I have that consistent user interface that I would for a full on Microsoft Teams room. So really driving that adoption. So I have consistency across all of my rooms. And a consistent user experience is Absolutely. so, so important. That's what's important. Awesome. Well, thank you, sir, very much. I know thank we're going to pop around a little bit. I understand this bar was just announced a couple of weeks ago. Yep. It's quite sexy from my perspective. So tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, so we're really excited that we launched uh, two weeks ago the video pressure on video bar 70. So it's an all-in-one Android device, meaning it's the Android compute, it's the microphone, camera, speakers, and an all-in-one device. Really targeted for medium and large rooms. We're saying up to 30 feet. Um, has uh, 
four cameras. You can kind of see the cameras behind us. So there's four lenses in there that give us that really good video quality shot from up to 30 feet away. That's amazing. I mean, you think about that technology advancement, innovation that's happened over the last couple of years. And where I think these really fit in the mix is as people start to take the, the bigger conference rooms down and say, I'm going to have three or four huddle spaces or three or four medium spaces. This is where this fits really well, right? Absolutely. Yeah, well, Crestron has been a real leader in the unified communication space. We have a flex system, but everything's been built off of Windows. So adding an Android compute and all in one allows that real ease of deployment for those medium to large rooms. So it makes it real easy for those customers to scale their deployments. Yeah. And as people start to look through that process, right, it's efficiency for the integrators. It's it's consistent experience for the end user, right, to walk in feel and hear the same thing, understand it, be comfortable because then they want to use the technology. Yeah. Otherwise, they're scared of it or they don't want to use that Absolutely. room because, you know, Neil's in the corner and they don't want to be over there, right? And that, and to me, that's really what drives that innovation piece. Absolutely. And you guys do a really good job with that. Thank you. So it's really an end, right? It's yeah. an end. I have all sorts of different rooms and we think by adding this is just expanding where the integrators can go, expanding where our customers can put collaboration devices. Yeah. And, and this is Zoom. Oh, this is Android, sorry. So it's running Android as the operating okay. system. So we expect that we'll have Zoom. Uh, so again, we're demonstrating uh, that we're running Zoom on the device. We do expect to get Microsoft Teams as well. So as we launch the product, we'll get the support for those. Oh, that's uh, fantastic. It really is. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time for this. I know we're going to pop over here and check a few more things out. Hi, everybody. I'm Toby Tungle with AV Nation Media. I'm here again with Neil, my favorite restaurant guy today. Neil, I understand that we are in the Microsoft room with some wonderful glass panels to see some people walking by. Absolutely. We're getting some funny looks. I don't know if you've noticed that. <laughs> I don't know if they want to be on camera with us or not. Yeah, no, we have to move crowd control out. <laughs> I understand you got a couple of products here, a couple of solutions you want to talk about? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this room is classic for many customers putting in. Architects will come in and go, you got a beautiful glass room and make it look amazing. But they don't think about acoustics. You know, acoustics and glass don't get on. Reverb, echo and all of that. In addition to that, there's lots of different kind of spaces we're putting in. We talked about desk scheduling in these different spaces in the office now. Again, meeting spaces are changing. People want the U-shaped desk or you know, kidney-shaped desk to try and make things more equitable in the office. But the challenge that brings is then, where's the audio coming from? Is it for the front of the room? Is the mic at the front of the room? So bringing the audio to the user is what the flex pods are all about. The ability to hide the gateway away and then deploy up to four of these uh, pods wirelessly around your space brings the audio to those users. And you can change it and flex during the day. Again, a lot of the spaces we're seeing now from customers are these divisible rooms where on Monday it's a big town hall room and then you've got these air walls that you can then split and divide. And again, the ability to be flexible with that and deploy these wireless speaker pods around the space to get much better audio and, and improve that acoustics that the glass adds. Yeah, I mean, the noise floor, people don't think about yeah. it, right? They oh, we've got it here, haven't we? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of loud in here today, right? But it's like, oh, I want to see pretty this, pretty that. And then you get in there yeah. and it just doesn't work, yeah. right? And then the customer's upset and you just, you try to work with it. So this type of solution, it's not just the rooms that are bad acoustics, right? The bigger rooms, or if you have an executive office, perhaps that's got display on one side of the wall, they want to get over here, but they still want to be engaged. I'm assuming that would be the same kind of situation, right? Yeah, absolutely. The challenge that you have is you're all sitting in the room, chatting away, having your meeting. You have no idea how you sound the other, other end. It's the guy or the girl at home who's working from home, didn't want to come in for Taco Tuesday, and they're just hearing a load of echo and a load of audio that just sounds terrible. It's not Thirsty Thursday, that's no, it's why. No, Thirsty Thursday. <laughs> so, I mean, that makes a lot of sense too, right? Because, and most people won't speak up no. because they don't want to, no, exactly. to bring that up and, and create conflict in the meeting, right? They want to make sure that they're heard, they want to be a part of the meeting and understand kind of that, that process of making people just kind of make it work. Exactly. Um, we, I, you know, I don't know if the correct terminology of this is, but making sure that it's, um, you know, executive level proof where it works yes. and it's super easy, it's consistent experience for them and, and, and really just a seamless totally. transition, right? So, exactly. awesome. Well, Neil, thank you very much. We're yeah. going to pop around here a little bit and, and make some more noise. So thank you very much. Cheers, Debbie. So we're here talking about some really cool products that you guys have behind us. Yep. I want to understand the desk scheduling solution for your typical clients. So walk me through it. Yeah, so a lot of customers now are looking with the modern way of working and hybrid working, going back into the office. But the challenge that that brings is now what does the office look like? How am I going to book a desk? I'm only going in for Taco Tuesday. What's the Thursday one you said? Thirsty Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. I want to go to Thursday Thursday. So how am I going to book my desk? How am I going to know where I'm going to sit? Because everything's now hot desk. But also, how are facilities and HR going to manage that and track that and see where the hot spots are, where people are sitting and when they're sitting? So we brought out, we announced it literally two uh, weeks ago at the Modern Work Summit, two desk scheduling products, which we're working with the partners. So Creston obviously makes this amazing hardware. And then we work with Tango, AppSpace, and all the other traditional scheduling vendors. So two options, you have the desk queue here, 
which is the sort of entry level Wi-Fi connected. You come in with your, we'd say mobile phone, you would say yeah. cell phone. Uh, you scan the QR code. It's a lesson in English as well. Yeah. You can scan the QR code and go, this is my desk. I'm having that for the day. And then obviously for your larger spaces, maybe those kind of uh, video booths, we've got the desk touch, a three and a half inch touchscreen version. You come in and say, it's my room. I'm sitting here. Uh, and then that will lock me in for that. And of course, all those great analytics attract. And again, the, the story and the, the, the customers we're talking to now are not IT, they're facilities, they're HR, because they're wanting to bring people into the, to the space, but then also to be able to track that and manage it. Make sure you've got enough you know, catering, you know, there's enough people and staff on board when you've got those days where everyone's coming in. Yeah, that employee experience, that culture piece, mm. I think a lot of people forget about, right? Yeah. It's not IT saying you should be there. Yeah. It's the HR team trying to bring you back, want you to be a part of the team, collaborate, yeah. but also give you a reason to be there. Yeah, totally. Like it, we all have great work from home setups, yeah, but yeah. you have to build the rooms, you have to have that technology. This is great for that. And yeah. then be able to see who's there. Maybe I want to sit next to Neil. Maybe I don't yeah. want to sit next to Neil <laughs> from that perspective, right? So do you think that the, the typical enterprise client, this is something that should just be rolled out immediately to everywhere? Or how, how would you typically recommend that? Yeah, I mean, obviously the queue, the desk queue is the kind of entry level device. That's going to be the one you deploy to all of your desks. And let's say for maybe your higher end spaces or for the execs uh, spaces, if they want a room. Or again, for those kind of, we're seeing a lot of video pods, those kind of video phone booths, uh, like the old red London phone boxes with a video camera in it. That's the kind of place where you would put the touch uh, in there. Can you bring those back here? Of course. Of we course. put them on the street corner. Yeah, we, absolutely. We have weird video calls. <laughs> the I love I it. it. Awesome. Neil, well, thank you for this. This is great. I know we're going to pop around a little bit, but thank you for showing me this. Right. Uh, if you want to hear more about what we're doing on the show floor, go to avnation.tv.